If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Kodak Black is selling NBA Youngboy toilet paper, and the weekend is going to be on American Dad. Plus, Russell Simmons talks about his sexual allegations. Let's talk hip hop. We made toilet paper for y'all. And then, SG toilet paper. SG so real, we made toilet paper for y'all. To wipe your ass with this shit, man. Then, SG so real, we made toilet paper for y'all, man. We gotta send out that Corona kit. Wipe your ass with this shit, man. Then, corona kit. SG so real, we got toilet paper for y'all, man. Then, SG toilet paper. Man, then, however. Man, then, SG toilet paper, wipe your ass. All type of shit, man. SG the dumb way. I mean, your whole cheeks. All right, yo, this is funny as hell, right? Because, all right, that was a clip of Jack Boy um, showing off like a Corona kit, right? So the whole situation is, y'all know Jack Boy is down with Sniper Gang, right? He just released the album last Friday and so did NBA Youngboy, right? Um, and then I saw like a bunch of like voting online where people are voting like whose album was better, NBA Youngboy or Jack Boy, right? And it's crazy because Jack Boy is, I guess he's like lesser known than NBA Youngboy, but it seems like Twitter, like Jack Boy, album better right um me personally i kind of liked nba young boys album better but whatever right um the whole situation though is that of course jack boy is down with sniper gang he's also down with kodak black um so you know he's down with that whole crew over there so what he's doing is like all right we got a corona kit for y'all we got a sniper gang corona kit for all y'all right that he's sending out to the fans probably like merch or whatever the case may be and you see he's playing with the toilet paper and unrolling it he's like you gotta wipe your ass with that shit right and the toilet paper has uh, NBA all over it. NBA, NBA, right? Um, which is NBA Young Boy, right? It doesn't say Young Boy. It doesn't have a picture of him, but you know. I mean, the NBA is the exact logo that NBA Young Boy has it. I guess they changed it around enough so that they can't get sued by NBA Young Boy, but it's just like so crazy and funny and petty as hell, right? That they put out a Corona kit and a lot of people are, you know, starving for toilet paper and they're like, here's some toilet paper with NBA Young Boy in it so you can wipe your ass with him right um the only thing that's probably gonna happen is NBA young boy is gonna respond with some shit like here's here's some toilet paper with kodak on it or whatever or a snot or a target that says sg in the middle for sniper gang or whatever like that right um funny as hell petty and all these dudes be always trolling each other all the time right um but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments nice much better is the weekend now all right, yo, this is fire, right? Because uh, the weekend is gonna be on American Dad, right? I can't show you the whole clip for copyright reasons, but the whole situation is that um, I guess Roger and y'all know how Roger always like wears like a different disguise in every episode, right? Sometimes he's Ricky Spanish, sometimes he's you know whoever, right? But in this episode, it looks like he's gonna be turning into the weekend, right? And the whole thing is that when Roger puts on a new wig, all of a sudden nobody can notice him. And everybody, you know, the general public at least, thinks that he is that other person. They don't think that he's Roger anymore, right? So puts on a, a wig that's, you know, the weekend's hair, and then all of a sudden, you know, Roger is the weekend, right? <laughs> he's walking around on stage singing like, I'm a star boy, all kind of funny ass shit, right? Um, and it looks like the weekend actually helped them co-write this um, episode that's gonna be coming out on Monday, which of course makes sense if the weekend's gonna be in it. He's gonna be like, well, let me write some of my own lines, right? Um, and this sort of kind of reminds me of that episode that American Dad did when they had um, CeeLo Green in it, right? I think it was like season five, episode one. Um, it was like a hot tub and CeeLo Green was like the hot, the voice of a hot tub. And it was like, just dip the toe, dip the toe, Stan. Like one of my favorite episodes of American Dad, right? Um, so this is going to be fire. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm sure it's going to be funny as hell. And, you know, it's cool that The weekend can kind of, you know, let his hair down, you know, no pun intended, you know what I'm saying, and kind of make fun of himself and like show his, you know, the, his, his funny side or his comedian side, right? Um, but anyway, yo, check it out and let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. All right, so in light of the Me Too movement, which like started a few years ago now, 
Um, you know, there's been a lot of documentaries to come out, like about Michael Jackson and R. Kelly and Harvey Weinstein and a whole bunch of other people who are, uh, who are alleged, you know, um, pedophiles or rapists or whatever, right? Um, so another person who, you know, and the industry's been buzzing about them being like a rapist or inappropriate or indecent with women uh, for a long time is Russell Simmons, right? Um, and Russell Simmons has kind of avoided the big documentaries and all that stuff, uh, but not anymore, right? So HBO, they did announce that they are going to move forward with their documentary on Russell Simmons, right? Um, and Oprah was actually an executive producer on this, right? And Twitter, you know, gave, ripped Oprah a new one, basically like, why are you always willing to stand behind something that bashes black people? We don't know if it's true. Just wait, blah, 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 and all this stuff like that. So a couple months ago, Oprah actually pulled out, right? Um, so the whole situation is that there have been a lot of other reporters trying to contact HBO to ask them, well, why did Oprah really pull out? Like, what's the real reason, right? Of course, Oprah says she pulled out because there are too many inaccuracies in um, this woman named Dixon's stories, right? Um, and Dixon is somebody that's accusing Russell Simmons of, you know, being inappropriate with her. There are too many inaccuracies in her, inaccuracies in her story, which is what uh, Oprah says, the reason why she pulled out. But a lot of people are like, ah, that's bullshit. We really want to know the real reason. It's probably because she had pressure from the public to pull out, right? Especially the black community, right? Um, HBO has not uh, given any reason why she pulled out and also HBO they're not trying to hear from Russell Simmons so Russell Simmons wants to say fine if you're going to put out a documentary at least let me tell my side of it they don't want to hear his side of it so it's going to be one sided um, and it, it, you know it just seems very weird right so Russell Simmons you know responded to this he's like you know I took a bunch of lie detector tests I took lie detector tests um, years ago right in California by the president of the lie detection board um, and everything. So he's like, you know, this these stories are 25 to 40 years old um, and he feels like they're just all lying on him. And he says that the lies will become so big that the truth will be forced to come out, right? Um, so I guess we'll have to see what we feel or how we feel about Russell Simmons after this whole documentary. But, you know, it is true that it could be one-sided, right? Um, I'm not taking nobody's side or nobody else's side because I wasn't there, right? Um, but it's just crazy how you know this all happens right um but anyway let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fastlane on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace